it's me, Everyday Nerdy here, and today we're gonna be doing a shout out to um, Idol Rock Studio, which is where you get, you can see like the Captain Falcon that I'm using as reference. Uh, and this guy also makes some cool stuff. Here's one of the Captain Falcon that he has done right now, which is the completed version. Right now I'm using the halfway complete, and you can see how cool it looks with all the details and all that stuff. And I believe he's making these and trying to, you know, selling them. So um, I'll put his information somewhere over here. You know, this guy's real good. He's actually one of the first people when I when did my Vegeta, uh, one of the videos previously, he actually gave me like one of those shout outs. And I was just like, wow, I was like one of the first people that I can remember that other than like my family that posted me on a story. And I just thought it was so cool. So I just, you know, I want to show, you know, other creators out there. Uh, check out this guy. So first we're going to start in sculpt mode. And when we're in sculpt mode, you know, you just want to make it a quad ball, increase the size. And now we're going to tweak the edges by right clicking and just hitting edit object and trying to get everything to line up with the top part. So I'll have some uh, shortcuts on the bottom as things go like here you're extruding the face and it's not just regular extruding extruding adding faces as you extrude and we're going to keep modifying and tweaking and I forgot to add symmetry so I had to undo add symmetry because symmetry is very very important and so I use a lot of double clicking of the line so I can just grab the whole edges and just usually pull things in so it can line up this is all just kind of like in the sculpt mode, so a lot of it's tweaking, and it's a bit subjective to what you want. So, and keep tweaking, and keep tweaking pretty much until it can match the design that we have in the back. Uh, this one kind of took me a while to. I, so this one actually reminded me a lot of the Magneto type helmet, which I have done previously on my own free time so it wasn't too too bad to do this helmet but i had to do my outside thinking of the box to do the other features which we'll do shortly after i finish tweaking the helmet which as you can see sometimes it takes a while to do all the tweaking it's a bit like i don't know it's just practice and you know just pulling lines here now and then now that we're out of sculpt mode the next thing is to just copy the surface. This is a surface because since I cut it in half, it's not enclosed. So we're gonna copy the surface. And we're going to thicken each surface. So one surface will be the outer part we are thickening and the other surface will be the inner part. And you'll see why I'm doing this because you gotta work smarter, not harder when it comes to designs. There's probably a way, fancier way to do this, but to me, this is easier. So I'm looking down well, not that I'm looking inside the helmet because that way I can keep track. I find it easier to visually see how I'm thickening it. And so mainly the outer part that we thicken, that is going to be the, um, what's it called? Shoot. The outer designs, which you'll see what I mean by that as we go on. But here we're going to draw a line to cut the front part of the helmet so we can have that face part sculpted out. Like I said, you can, there's probably other ways to do this where you could have maybe done it from the front, but I didn't like it that way. So I did it this way. And then every time you cut, you split the surface, you got to make sure you, well, it's body now. Cause once you thicken it, it's a body. You got to do it twice. Cause you have the inner and outer body. And now that we did the front part, the next thing we got to do is do a spline or a line, however you want to do it to cut the bottom part here. So, I mean, you could sculpt this part and have it like perfect like that, but I, to me, it makes more sense to get those crispy lines. And to do that, I usually just split body because I don't know. I find that easier. Just remember you gotta do it twice each time you do a split. So, cause there's two bodies here. You could have combined them if you want, but right now is not the time to combine them. So now we're gonna do the lines for the Mohawk part of the helmet which is like the part that he has like right here where the falcon part's going to be. So you start doing the lines to match the mohawk. And then once you have the line set up, we're going to, as you know, split the body. 
And we're gonna do for, I think you do all at once. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you do it all at once, you can do it all at once. And now we're gonna have these outer parts that we don't need. Remember, we're splitting the outer body, not the inner body. So, and you can see we have a little mohawk in the front, but now some of the designs in the back, I saw it goes all the way and sometimes it doesn't. So we're going to do, with, with this reference that I have, we're gonna be doing the V on the back because some of them have that. And it's the same concept. You're gonna draw lines you're gonna, you can join them or you can do them individually. I prefer to, whenever I do a line, I know I have to do the other side. I prefer to mirror the lines. And then we're gonna split the body. You can hide the body. And now you can, if you want, you can join the whole Mohawk as one body because that's now the outer body. So see, this is very simple to do the Mohawk part. I know there are some people that can probably loft it or do something crazy to get that design. I tried lofting in the beginning and I realized, you got, I don't want to waste that much time. You know, if this is easier and producing decent results, I don't see what the issue is. So, and of course you can tweak the line little by little, as you can see me doing here. So I can have it match up to what I think looks better for where that V part should be in the back. So we have that. And after this, the next step we're going to do is we're going to mess with the inner body that you see and we're going to do the the little little design here on the edge which we do by going back to our original sketch and doing uh oh, what's it called the, when you do a copy of it I'm forgetting the word right now oh you're doing an offset of that line shoot once you do an offset you're going to then <laughs> split the body of the inner body so we're going to split it and once we split it, we can pull the design and you're going to pull them slightly outward. I try to pull them and make sure they're not past the mohawk because in most of the designs I saw, they weren't past the mohawk. So I try to keep it like that. And then boom, as you can see, it looks pretty sharp. So now the next thing we're going to, do, we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do the ear parts. So to do the ear parts, you first create a circle. When we create the circle, in retrospect, it might be better to pull out the circle, but oh well. Well, to do a construct past it, but it is what it is. So I create a circle, and now I'm going to extrude it to the object. You gotta make sure the face is large enough, and I do to the object, because when I extrude it, and you can see I'm pulling it, it has the curvature of the face. And then I'm going to do a fillet ever so slightly, just enough until I get a not having an error so I can have that round look. You could loft this type of design, but I felt like it was a bit too much time consuming. And now I'm going to repeat the circle, but instead of lofting, instead of pulling it out as much as I did, I'm going to pull it near the, like, so you have the round part and it's going to be like a little bit, let me see, oh, oops, a little bit behind the round part because you see there's like an outer ring next to it. So that would be the next design. For some reason, it's kind of hard to see, but you'll see it when it it's over. I don't know why it was hard to see in this um, in this section, but that's the idea of, of it. And then once you have that little feature done, you can draw a line to match the little design that's on the ear. And then I do a, after I draw the line, I do a fillet around the corner, and then the next thing would be to split the face and now you have a line those vertices on the body and you can do pipe and cut it now piping is also like i have have a strong i have a hard, i have a i struggle sometimes to make sure the lines all connect so you see i have to zoom in to make sure i click the next line because sometimes the arrow's in the way so it's annoying and then you have that voila so right there you can see that's the outer design like the ring around the the this half a spear that was created which is hard to see when you're looking at it at front but then you can combine all those bodies you've made which would be two and then you can just mirror it to the other side oh you know what you want to do it again yeah i mean be my guest do it again and then voila, we have almost everything for the helmet minus the um the falcon and so i didn't like how much the inner part was thickened so i reduced the thickening and you can do that by if you go back into the timeline 
and you right click wherever you're at and you click edit and you can adjust how much you thicken it because I think I had it too thick. But here, this is what we have so far. I'm going to come back with a part two to do the falcon and until next time. <laughs>